hello guys so uh, today i'm going to review a logitech keyboard this is k380 it's a bluetooth keyboard so let's get started okay guys so let's do a quick unboxing uh so on the top left corner we can see it's written multiple device and then k380 portable typing on computers phones and tablets as i said before this is a window layout keyboard uh we have a mac layout too so if you want that i'll leave in the description so on the bottom left we can see it's uh bluetooth supports uh, windows mac chrome os android ios and apple tv then at the back we can see we have the type on anything easy switch we have check to type style and then below here is important information that your device should be bluetooth enabled if not you have to buy a dongle so if you're using a pc that doesn't have a bluetooth built-in you have to buy a dongle and also it has a battery life of two years so they provide the, ba the battery within the keyboard so they can last two years so let's do the unboxing okay so when you open the box we are greeted with the keyboard uh, wrapped in a plastic bag and uh, it seems a little bit heavy the other things we find in the box is just the instruction manual and they come in different language and then let's check if there's anything else and that's it nothing else so we'll put the box aside and then we continue uh, to remove the plastic wrap from the keyboard uh, as you can see we have another manual which is in light green or yellow color so the instruction you have to remove a uh, paper clip from the battery and then uh, you have to hold the button for three seconds to pair and then it shows the device that you can pair and then on the uh, far right it shows where you can download the software in order to customize the keyboard so that's it with this uh, simple manual so we're gonna put this aside and then we're gonna start the pairing before we continue uh, we have to turn the keyboard around and remove the paper clip from the battery and then make sure that the keyboard is on after uh, removing the paper clips from the battery uh, turn the keyboard around and then you'll notice the three Bluetooth lights uh, are all on at the same time and then after some time they'll all turn off then we can start pairing the devices now we'll start pairing the Windows laptop. Uh, it's very easy. You just have to go to your uh, Windows Bluetooth settings on the bottom right. Uh, just go to the bottom right. Then click. Then go to the Bluetooth right click. Then go to the settings. Get more info. Then here we can add a new device. Okay, so before we do that, we have to long press the F1 because we want to pair it with the first button, which is the F1. Yeah, you have to hold it down for three seconds and then you, it will start blinking. And then after that, uh, you can go to your laptop and then go to add device and then select Bluetooth. And then it will search for a Bluetooth device. When it finds the keyboard, uh, just select the keyboard. Uh, you'll be requested to enter some uh, code uh, on the Bluetooth uh, keyboard. So you just have to key the code and then it will be paired successful. And that's it. Then you can start using the keyboard. This is for the Windows devices. Okay. Okay, now I'll demonstrate uh, a simple way of how the keyboard works so i'm just doing some coding you can see i'm using the keyboard to control my computer and do some code you see i press down arrow and then you can also type so now it's connected and you can use it as you wish so let's continue to the mac pairing okay okay now we're going to pair our macbook with the keyboard so we have to go to the app logo then click on system preference then when it's open uh, we will go and click on the bluetooth 
uh, once the Bluetooth is uh, page is open, then we have to make sure first in our keyboard is ready to pair. So we have to pair it with the second yellow button, which is the second Bluetooth button. As you can see, the F2 or second Bluetooth button. Just uh, long press, press and hold it for 30 seconds. And then it will start blinking, which means it's ready to pair. Then we go back to our Mac. Uh, we have to make sure first our Mac Bluetooth is turned on. So we turn it on and then it will start searching for devices. Once it finds the keyboard, as you can see, here it is, keyboard uh, K380. Then we select the keyboard and then we press connect. So it's a bit different from Windows whereby we were asked to enter some uh, numbers, the chords in order to pair. Here there are some other instructions. So we press continue and then we'll be asked uh, to press the button next to the shift on the right and that one in our keyboard is Z so we press that and then on the next page we'll be asked to press the button on the left side of shift okay and that one will be the backslash or the question mark so we press that and then it successfully pairs the keyboard to the Mac book and that's it for then now we can use the keyboard with the macbook okay okay after successful pairing the keyboard to the macbook so i'm going to uh, open microsoft age and then type logitech keyboard uh, k380 and press enter and you'll see that i'm using the keyboard to type and also to interact with the co with the macbook computer Okay, now we're gonna pair with an Android phone. Long press the third button for three seconds. And uh, when the lights start blinking, just go to your uh, Android phone Bluetooth settings. Uh, search for Bluetooth devices. If you can find the keyboard name, keyboard K380, uh, tap on it and then press pair, connect. And then uh, you'll be asked to key in some chords similar to windows just type the chords on the keyboard and then press enter and then on the android press pair and then they'll be successful paired to one another so now you can use your keyboard to interact with your android phone and i'll show you a demonstration uh, after this now i'm going to do a quick demo using the android phone connected to the keyboard as you can see i can sweep, change ups and then choose the app that I want and then I can go to the Microsoft Word installed in the Android and then I'll try it's working great actually the keyboard feels really nice typing on it okay after pairing all the three devices successfully I'm gonna show you how to switch uh, seamlessly between them using the three Bluetooth button on top of the keyboard so you just have to press once uh, as you can see I press twice but you only have to press once to connect to the device as you see I'm connected to my Android so I'm gonna type now something on the Android it's working fine and the feel of the keyboard is really nice now that it's done I want to connect to my Mac just press once uh, press once the F2 or the second yellow button and then it's connected to my uh, MacBook and then now I can start typing on the web I'll just search for AI topic so just write AI hmm. as you can see and then I press enter and then it opened the search then I can also use the tab button to navigate down and then open a page by pressing enter which is pretty nice uh, and very fast now I want to switch back to my Windows laptop which is on the left so I just have to press once the F1 just once um, on the video you see I press twice but you just have to press once and then now it's connected to my Windows and then I'm gonna type something as you can see it's pretty simple and straightforward Uh, in my experience, I'm going to share my experience. It's a really nice keyboard to use. And if you have a um, 
um, big monitor and then you just want to have a Bluetooth uh, keyboard, this is one for you, for your home office or for your office. Okay, the last thing I want to show you is the software. You can download it from the official website of Logitech. As you can see, you can use the F1 to F12 as standard function keys. And then we can go on top and you can also see the battery status. So here we, you can always check if the battery is in good health or it's low. Here we can see the paired device with the keyboard. So I have three already, Windows, Mac OS, uh, it says Windows, but it's Pixel, it's Android, okay? And then when we go to more, there are some more information here, as you can see. Always keep the keyboard Windows layout, the device battery becomes low, and then a lock key is pressed. So there are some features here, if you want to come in and, and tweak, you can come and do it. And then we go to the backup, and you have to log in. Software, it's important to come to software. And try to check for any updates maybe there will be some updates for your keyboard maybe and that's it okay guys before we end the video i also wanted to point out where the uh, on and off switch is it's on the left side of the keyboard so if you push it down that means it's off you push it up that means it's on there will be an indicator light that will let you know that when the keyboard is on and when it's off it will be off Thank you for watching the video please remember to like share and subscribe and i'll leave the detail about this product the keyboard uh the mac layout and also the window layout of this k380 from logitech i'll leave them in the, the links in the description and also in the first comment i'll pin it on the top so if you have any question about this uh, keyboard please feel free to leave a comment uh, below i'll see you in the next video Thank you very much.